It's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I'm here today with a recipe spread. So this is my Mambi Happy, maybe I don't think they call it happy, I think it's just the recipe organizer. Um, and today we are doing, I, I almost put this in the healthy section, I think this is actually, I'm putting it in the miscellaneous section, I don't know, maybe I'll switch it. Um, we're doing black bean soup, and yeah, let me switch it out. Okay, we, we pulled out the healthy page. So the in the organizer thing that I have, um, let me show you the cover just so you know what I'm working with. There's the different tabs and the color tab corresponds to the corner. So like the main dishes tab is green, so those are green. Entertaining is in gold foil, but then it's like a light blue. The slow cooker is that grayish and then it's red, so maybe it doesn't actually correspond. That's cool. Quick and easy does. Desserts is a blue. Um, I, I don't think I'm ever going to use quick and easy, honestly, because, yeah. And then the healthy fare, I have one recipe in there. So, I don't know. We're just going to go with whatever one I just said this is. And... I'm going to run with it. So today we are actually going to be doing a soup and it's kind of on the healthier side. I mean, it's a soup. Uh, all right. I'm not sure if I like how I did that, but it's too late. I can't really change it. Um, yeah, I was trying to figure out how to write it because usually like, I'll make the letters too narrow and then it won't take up with the whole page or I'll start them too big and then I have to cram them all in. So I thought maybe if I started in the middle and I don't like that either. So I've come to the conclusion I just don't like my handwriting, which is fine. I do like the pen. It is a Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the 0.7. It's what I always use for here because um, for my recipe planner, I like to try to keep it consistent. For a while I had used this it's the Tombow dual brush pen and I used the marker tip and I wrote the recipe out in this I just didn't like how that looked so I used this for the title and then I use a simply gilded gel pen I don't know what the tip is um, but it is narrower a finer tip than the 0.7 so okay um let's see there's actually quite a few ingredients so for me personally look at this this is my iPad um, I have had this recipe saved for a year and a half and I just took a screenshot of it. There we go. Um, and it actually takes up, why isn't this? Okay. Yep. That's another one. We are in my screenshot, my recipe screenshots folder in my photos. So we've got all of these ingredients. So that's a lot. So I'm just going to, and I will definitely speed through this at the worst I will possibly cut away um to write it down because I can't talk and write at the same time so let me get this all these ingredients down and then we'll figure out what I'm doing All right, so we've got all of that. 
Um, I had to stop and think for a couple of times because I just made this the other night for dinner and I insta storied a little bit of what I was doing. Um, where was it that I had? To, oh, I stopped to think about what I was going to do over here because I needed to make sure that I did the black beans. I stopped at some point over here because I remembered that we typically do a double recipe of this to feed my family and I only put down a single recipe. Um, and then I also stopped because I couldn't remember if I messed up the chicken broth the other night when I made it. So, yeah, that is all that. Now, I do want to say, because I'm not going to start to decorate it just yet, I kind of want to see what I have going on before I get the decorations in, but I do have some things picked out. So I've got these washi that came from a Simply Gilded sub box. It was the November sub box called Northern Comforts. Um, and then I have these, which are from her most recent pre-sale that got sent out because I think they all kind of go pretty well together. Um, I do have the pink in the five millimeter. I just, it's at the bottom of my stack and I didn't grab it. So those are what I'm going to be using because I just kind of think it gives me the feeling that I'm after with the black bean soup. So just really quick to kind of go through this, capital T's are tablespoons, lowercase t's are teaspoons, and then the C's are cups. Pretty, pretty easy. Um, we also serve it with cilantro lime rice, and I'm going to put that over here in the notes just to keep it on the same page. I think that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and write down the steps. Now the thing is, it's slightly confusing on here just because it's not the way I like to have things presented. Like it's more in paragraph form as like a, a story-ish because I'm thinking it was probably from a, um, like a blog. And I just, that's not how my brain processes things. So I need to make sure that I get it done in like that step-by-step -step style that I prefer. And I'm kind of thinking, I mean, the bows actually wouldn't, oh my gosh, you know what? The bows would work. So the blue is shooting stars, so that one won't work, but these will work for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my scissors and for each step, I'm going to cut off one bow. And that is how I am going to mark each individual step because with the five millimeter, it fits perfectly and I could do an entire line, but I think I'm going to alternate between the pink and the purple. Um, so this is definitely going to be time consuming and I will spare you and I'll be back with what that all looks like. Okay, so I've got the ingredients all, or not the ingredients, the steps all done. Oh, and I flung my lids, we'll just leave that there. Um, so I have the steps all done, I cut the bows, they're not, completely identically shaped or placed down quite so perfectly, but I think it's good enough. Now, for serves, like I said, the other night we made a double recipe and my oldest had a standard size bowl, my middle had a decent size bowl, I had a bowl, my husband had two bowls, there was a bowl he had for lunch yesterday, I had some for lunch today, and there's still probably one to two bowls left. So that made eight bowls for a double recipe. Ish. So we'll say that a single recipe serves four, because I think that's actually pretty, pretty accurate and why we make a double recipe, just to make sure as a family of five who really likes this and the fact that it's fairly healthy, it's okay that we go back for multiple helpings. Main ingredients, um, yeah, it's basically just the black beans. I was gonna put chicken broth, but we'll just leave it as the bean, well, and rice. Difficulty, it's actually pretty easy. Um, the hardest part is the blender and knowing that you need to kind of let it cool for a minute before you put the lid on because it'll explode because it's hot. So other than that though, it's actually really simple to make. 
I don't know if I necessarily want to give it a one. I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it a two. And I think that'll be okay. Prep time, I would say it's about 10 minutes. It doesn't take too much time to prep. Cook time, so we've got 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here. So that right there is 25. It takes about five minutes to bring it to a boil. So it'll take about, I mean, yeah, we'll just say 30 minutes, 30 to 40. All right, and then temperature, like I said, it's medium to low. Now, over here under notes, like I said, I want to make that the, um, the rice. I just had an idea. Here's what we'll do. We will go ahead and lay this washi down. I was going to go straight across, but I think that would be a little, I don't know, maybe that'll work. Yeah, I think that actually looks okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because like, it's not gonna take much to do the cilantro lime rice. It's pretty easy, honestly. I say that a lot. Okay, so I've got that down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the box like I was thinking of doing. Um, I've done that before in the apple muffins recipe. I boxed it out, which actually I probably could over here. And just, I mean, I would have to take it into the, I don't know. Yeah, oh well no, if I come up here, maybe. Huh. I don't know. All right, so I have it boxed off. I I think I like it, I don't know. Um, but now I definitely have committed to those colors. So I have them in a little bit bigger. I don't know if I wanna do the like crisscross and everything that I normally do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of just like deco down here at the bottom. I'm not going to, well, I'll have to take it all the way over just so that I can properly tear it. But I think I'll layer the colors. Is that straight? I don't think that's totally straight, but that's okay. I think it's straight enough. 
Um, so for washi, I either rip the washi with this blue side of the card, or I use my Fisker's blade and slice the washi on the gray side. Um, I do the differentiation in the size just because the Fisker's blade cuts this and makes it jagged. So yeah, that's all that's about. We will go with the bigger purple, or not the bigger. So this one is 10, or 15 millimeter, this one is 10, and then the other ones that I use over here and here are all five. So I think that's what I'm going to do, is I think I will go ahead and do the blue five on top. So you're going to get to see me use my Fisker's blade. I did not leave enough space over here for me to rip it. If I try to rip it when it's that small, I will, I just, I can't get a good enough grip on it. So I always end up, um, like crinkling it instead. And I definitely don't want to do that for this. All right. So I don't have any of the blue bows. I only have it in the Stardust. Nope. That is called shooting star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it here, but I actually am going to put it up a little bit. So I put it here. It's going to be too close to that. So at least if I put it kind of floating here in the middle, I just feel like that might end up working out better. And I think it's still long enough that I can rip it and I'm going to rip it so that it is in line with the lines instead of being all the way up against the like beige, tan, whatever color that is. All right, so when you buy Simply Gilded Washi and you get the bows for the 10 millimeter and the 15 millimeter, it comes as a set. So the big bows and the medium bows. When you do the smaller bows, the five millimeter, you actually get a set of like three or four, depending on the colors, um, as the set. So the ones that I got, it came as a set of four. Um, for the pink and the purple, it also came with a like an emerald and a plum, I think is the color that she calls it. I'm not sure. But the stars, it came with a set of three. So it just kind of depends on the collection. Um, but the bows, you get the matching, like, his and hers, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to stick this up here at the way top, just so that I have the colors just kind of dispersed. And then that's going to be it. Not a whole lot of decorating. I... When I do my recipe spreads, I typically do a lot of washi. Um, I have a lot of washi and I just want to make sure that I'm using it. I, I think washi tape is really, really pretty. I didn't leave myself enough space. Um, yeah, I think if that washi tape is really pretty and I don't want to just like hoard it and like, you know, save it and never use it. So using it specifically for the recipe spreads, I just think it's a nice way to use my stash. I can't get this on. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this spread. I like it. I think these colors really work well together. The foil is actually different colors. These are rose gold and oops, all of these are copper. But I think I think it works out just fine. So if you enjoyed this video, please, oh, that's shining in your eyes. I'm sorry. The foil is shining in your eyes too, and that I'm not sorry about. I love seeing the foil shine. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.